You can win everything here. This thing, these things, the boxes, Johannes, everything. Hey, I'm Jonathan. Ho, ho, ho. I'm Johannes. Nice touch. Welcome to our holiday special. Here's how it works. We have 10 questions, quiz questions that are harder as, as they progress. And you comment the answer with an additional comment on why you should win. Tell us why. Tell us why. And we'll pick one winner. So, what can you win? Well, we have the beautiful Pro Basket Go. Royal Box 1, Royal Box 2, discs. discs. You, have a, you have a bag, so you can put the discs in the bag. You got a drink, a beanie, and there's a hat. We have a sack. We have stuff in it. We also asked you guys, what would you like to know? So, we're gonna answer some of them questions as we go yeah. along. Also, we have crayons. So the idea here is I got crayons, you have crayons, we all have crayons. Mm. And we're gonna design, ha handcrafted, design a disc each that you will also win. <laughs> <laughs> so, quiz question number one. Pay attention, people. What is not a word for getting the disc in the basket on the very first throw. A, hole in one. Mm -hmm. B, ace. Yep. C, perfect pitch. Mm -hmm. Or D, basket in one. So what is not a word for getting the disc in the basket on the first throw? Tricky. Very. So the drawing, Johannes. Hmm, sleigh and a moon and mountains and pine trees. I think you got this. So whenever we ask people to ask us questions, there are usually a lot of specific questions about discs. Like when do you release this disc? Can I have this disc in this weight or plastic? And or in this specific year, yeah. uh, when do we see this one again? Because mm. there's a lot of discs out of stock. We've been doing a prioritized list, so uh, check uh, our homepage. That's gonna come out in the next couple of days. We also got a lot of questions about the Royal line and when the discs will be released for real seas. I'm gonna answer the best that I can. We don't have any set dates today, but we're looking at a pretty early 2021 release for, uh, for something. Mm -hmm. um, they're not going to be released all at the same time, the four molds that we've done prototypes for, but they are coming out in the first half of 2021. So another question that we got, did you realize another company had a Royal line before you made yours? Quick answer, no. Mm. But close to the release, we, we found out. But uh, Royal is not a plastic line for us. It's a whole line products in different plastics. Yeah. So uh, it's, it's a different thing. Because we don't know the names of the, the plastic yet. No. Either. We're gonna, we're gonna use all the feedback we got from all of you guys who bought the Royal Boxes. Uh, get some feedback over there and uh, some big news coming out uh, early 2021 about what's coming up. And uh, new plastic names is one of them. I'm gonna go with a, a big tree. A big old tree there. Quiz question number two. Pay attention. What is a common nickname for Anheusers? Is it A, Annie's? B, not Heiser? C, angle number one? Or D? And a banana. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're coloring as you go. I'm starting that as well. I don't know, because I don't have the full image yet. Me neither. There's stuff missing here. I just really, really felt I needed some trees yeah. quick to get in, this, in, the, in the right mood. Yeah. That's yeah. gonna help me out later. Mm -hmm. Quiz question three has a video in it. What is this grip 
call that this person is using? The person is Thomas Ekström. Ah, yeah. I know him. Yeah, sorry. No. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, is it A, modified fan grip? B, the whatever grip? C, the power grip? Or D, the classic strong grip? I need some brown on the trunk, like so. Oh, we, we have a problem here. Is this yours? Is this your crayons? Yes. It's about time to see what's, is it in, time? what's in the sack. Ooh, it's a rain cover. It is a rain cover. For the bag. I need some reindeer action going here. I oh. have been thinking about animals. Like in general, and, you have uh, a sky, that's nice. Yeah, I'm thinking about making a sun oh, you, A double, well. double colored sky. I've got some, some questions uh, sort of in th this area thing. Uh, one was from Emmett Buchanan. I, I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if it's not. I haven't seen any videos by you that explains how you, Jonathan, I don't think he meant it like super like, so started with Latitude 64 and what your role is. What is it and what, why are you doing it? I love it and want to see more of your development. Well, to make a, a semi-long story, semi-short, I applied for a job here. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that job here. What happened was a, a role sort of got created for me, I think, in a way. And to, to work with video production. And I was like, okay. And to sort of incorporate a, a, another person's question, why did Latitude hire someone that can't throw a disc? That is a good question. What I know is that Latitude wanted someone fresh that wasn't sort of in the sport to get a new perspective. And what happened was during this summer, I was like, I don't know anything about this sport. What can I add to it? Maybe to document me learning this sport. And my goals are, I don't know, I want to learn more. Uh, as I go, I get more into the specific of the discs and the flight. And I'm trying to document as much as possible, uh, just because I wanted to keep it honest. If I don't know a thing, I can say I don't know that thing. I've seen in some comments that people have been questioning that you're, you, yeah. they think you're actually a disc golfer who knows everything, who's mm. playing stupid. I'm not that good of an actor. You're pretty honest. I'm pretty honest. I don't think I'm you stupid. would be able to, to lie that way. No. Will I compete? Yes, I'm hoping. Uh, with the COVID situation right now, there's more important things like mm -hmm. stay safe. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen next year, but I'm planning on it. And to do more of the leading up to a uh, tournament and the, the preparation and, and training before it and covering the actual event. So, yes. Quiz question number four. It's, 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 it's time. What happens when you get a condor in disc golf? A. You get 300 par on a hole. B. You reach circle one. C, you get four under par on a hole, or D, you get a disc that is humorously large. Humorous. You see, I knew this would happen. Once I added animals, stuff happens. I mean, like this was going all right. Then the super reindeers showed up. That's messing a moose. Up. Yeah. That's a star. <laughs> <laughs> so I think three reindeers is enough for Santa this year. But I have a different problem now. I don't know where Santa is going to, to be here. You have a lot more space. Like, I, you have so much room for activities. Where is Santa? Well, you're gonna... He could well, be that, that's a very... Like, <laughs> if you have that behind. in a drawing book... So, where's Waldo? Where's Santa? You have the sleigh here and the... Oh, I broke the crayon. That's a sad day for a child. <laughs> Douglas Drew asks, what is your favorite thing with disc golf? Do you wanna... For me? Yes, for you. For me, it's, it's um, stress relief. 
kinda. Mm -hmm. Go out in, in the nature, do something that you love, see discs fly and throw them, yeah. and just forget about everything else for, for half an hour or hour or two. I'm gonna use my favorite word in English that I never use, and don't know if I will use correctly, but there's hmm. a tranquility. Tranquility. Trink tranquility. Quiz question number five, and it's in the form of a video. Hello, Johnny McRae here with Team Latitude 64, and what is this putting style called? Is it A, spin putt, B, Turbo putt, C spush putt, or D lift putt. Hmm. And also, Johnny McRae asks, "Would you, Jonathan, come hang out with me in Florida one winter and do awesome videos?" Ooh. Fine. We'll dive into the bag again. Ooh, we found something that looks like a disc that wrapped in Christmas paper, yeah. and it must have been done years ago. Okay. It's a pink Claymore with no stamp. A couple of years old. You can, you will win that as well. I want to draw, draw a reindeer, yeah. but I'm afraid. But you can see what happens yes. when you draw a reindeer. Because these are like, this is like the, the seasons of, of a great series. You have the, the great writing, oh my god, stuff happens. Uh, we just want to make money. I think I'm going to do disc golf basket instead. Question number six on the quiz. And the question is, what does OAT stand for? OAT, O-A-T. What does it stand for? Is it A, off angle torque? Is it B, on a tee pad? Is it C, off axis torque? Or is it D, overly angry tee shot? Ryan Discolf asks, do different putters really matter when you're close to the basket? Do you want me to answer that? Or? I think I have an answer for myself. Well, yes and no. I think it, if you think about how the disc feels, then yes. Uh, the flight of the disc, probably not, because it's too close to the basket. The longer the putt, the more the, more the disc the more overstable it is, the more you have to correct its angle. So mm. that's, and that's in the individual, but yeah. yeah, you have to be maybe more picky about the flight of the disc, the longer you're from the basket. Yeah. So yeah. So I when agree. you're really, really close, it sort of doesn't matter. No, you can have a brick. Yeah. If that would be allowed to play with, kind of. <laughs> do you want, do you want them to allow that? <laughs> Quiz question number seven. Where was the first game of disc golf held? Which country mm. was it held? Was it A, USA? Was it B, Finland? C, Canada? Or D, Sweden? Maybe I shouldn't have started with the, the blue hair. Because it's very overpowering. I think it's like you, it's, it's both. Overpowering! <laughs> <laughs> The moon, is it a bit grayish or is it just, I don't know. Ooh, maybe. Isn't the moon? Um, 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 you're setting him up for a question I can't answer. I can feel it. They I say know. it's like a cheese. Yeah. So just, what cheese would you do? Cheese like the color? Yeah. I'm adding some yellow. Maybe this reindeer is the famous Ralph. Now we have a very important question. Ooh. It's not a quiz question, but Gordy Kafers, Gordy, Gordy Kafers, can you cut a watermelon in half by throwing a disc at it? Maybe. Can I do it? Science. Question number eight. Uh, in 2020, disc golf was broadcasted in uh, CBS Sports Network. What tournament was being shown? Was it A, Dynamic Discs Open? Was it B, Texas State Disc Golf Championships? Uh, can you please read C? Was it C, Pernama, P 
Pernuma Talvised Meistre Voist Lucid. And was it the Wild Card Open 2020? Was it? Then we have DG Jesper again. Yeah. He's, he's wondering, uh, have you started playing when not at work yet? Uh, I and think I'm, that's, inter I'm interested in that yes, answer as well. Uh, I would, but I don't have time. I have two small, small children at home. I don't have time. If I had time, I would cure cancer mm -hmm. <laughs> and play disc golf. What's Latitude 64's three most important molds? Three most important? Mm, yeah. The one, the, the most popular, the ones people are buying. I guess. Diamond, Pure, Ballista Pro. Quiz question number nine. I, as in me, threw 100 discs in a video in the Disc Golf Basic series. What disc did I throw? Was it A, Pure, B, River, C, Grace, or D, Stiletto? I'm starting to be pretty happy about this. It has something about it. I don't know what it is. What? What's the... The half pipe here? Oh, it's people throwing. It's like yeah. explosions when they're... Because it's, it's... They have firecrackers at the end. That's very festive. You gotta check in the bag. It's a small bag. This is a new bag we're coming out with. Oh my lord, what is this doing here? Product placement. This is the Swift bag. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. super light and it's good for beginners. But I'm gonna use it next year because it's so light. Yeah, but not this one because... You, there, can win everything here. So the last quiz question, question number 10 right now. What's the nickname of the man who invented the modern disc golf basket? Is it A, Bright Ben, B, Crazy John, C, Weird Al, or D, Steady Ed? Who is it? One of those four. So let's check on the drawing. Can you explain your thought process behind your masterpiece here? I just started with the horizon and it somehow it evolved to a yin and yang stuff. I don't know if you want to go deeper into that, mm. uh, but it happened. There's trees and then I started with the sky because it felt good. And, and then uh, uh, I didn't know, so I just painted a disc golf basket and two guys throwing in it and there's fire crackers on the discs. What's this all about? Well, this is my Where is Santa? It's a beautiful painting, mm -hmm. but it comes with a mystery built into it. So it's it's very layered. Uh, bold. So you can win these. You can win this and this and everything you see here. Winner take all. Mm -hmm. uh, so now we've gone through the 10 questions. Hopefully you have answers to all of them. Comment down below your answers, including why you think you should win. And you have until the, the end of this year. The end of the year, yeah. And with that, we want to say thank you. Thank you so much. And good luck. Mm -hmm. And happy holidays. And have a great new year if we don't catch each other before. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.